Hi there, it's Derek here again, and I'd just like to give you a little something. If you're just if you've just jumped into the new year and you're really keen to get things going, and you'd like to create some ideas just as quickly as you possibly can, um, I'd like to talk to you about very briefly, in fact, about a technique that I often put under the banner: how to generate twenty ideas in the time it takes to drink a cup of coffee. It does, of course, depend how long it takes to drink a cup of coffee, but you can use it on your own. You can use it with other people. And in fact, in a group situation, I have, in fact, seen a group of half a dozen people generate 60 plus ideas in 10 minutes. So it does work. And this is, this is, the, this is the technique in a nutshell. Now, most of the time, we sit and try and generate ideas about doing something. How do we make sales increase? How do, how do we make profits go up? And what tends to happen is our ideas dry up just after a few, few minutes. So what I'd like to do is suggest that we turn things on their head. So instead of how do we increase sales, how about... How do we decrease sales? In fact, let's really go for it. How bad can we make sales get? How can we drive sales down till they're almost non-existent? In fact, so that we almost go out of business. You will find that even if you're a positive person, that once you've got your head around this, you will find it much easier to generate ideas. So you will come up with lots and lots and lots of ideas anyway. The other thing is, when you just try to um, generate ideas with people, you find that they say, well, no, we can't do that. We tried that last year. Cost too much. Never work. You know the thing. Well, if you do the, do the opposite, if you're trying to do the negative, if you're trying to make sales go down, even negative people find it very hard to be negative about being negative. So what happens is these ideas tend to get through. They tend not to um, be, be ditched, be thrown down the drain, not, not be written down. Oh, and I should say, when you're doing this, write absolutely everything down. So that's what you do. Focus on the negatives, try and generate the ideas. When these things start to dry up, or when you've nearly drunk your cup of coffee, all you simply do is take these ideas and turn them into positives again. Now, for a number of reasons, they might not actually be too specific. So you can run the entire exercise on each of these things. So if one of your suggestions was, maybe if you're um, in a shop, um, one of your suggestions was make it not very... I know, not very child friendly if it's a toy shop. You could just work on that instead of working on the sales aspect. But this can be used for a number of a number of reasons, a number of situations. You can even use it for behavioural change. Now I taught this technique to somebody in a business growth club and I just thought people would go away and play with it. A couple of weeks after I introduced this, a guy who um, who was into um, promoting cage fighting came up to me and he said, well, I, I tried this and it worked brilliantly. And I said, well, how do you use it? And he basically had one of his, his team who was not, um, I would say not playing the game. He wasn't wearing the clothes that he was supposed to be wearing, i.e. his uniform, if you like. Um, and he wanted to make him toe the line. So one day on leaving a cage fight, they he said, well, let's try and come up with all the ideas that would make us look unprofessional. And they started, and this, this guy who wasn't tying the line after a while cup said, oh, not wear my uniform. And then, oops, the penny dropped. So as well as generating ideas, you can actually, if you set the questions up properly, you can use it for behavioral change as well. So if you'd like to have a go with that, go away, use it. If you have any problems or you'd like to tell me how it how it went for you, contact me via my website, www.derekcheshire.com.
happy generation.